So while Aaron's been busy blowing all of my money and his schedule on the Porsche, I've been on the hunt for more game. The 68 Shelby uh, GT350 popped up on uh, the old interwebs for sale, and I figured, why not? Let's go to Southern California. This guy's got a uh, original paint 68 GT350. Mustangs are cheap to restore. It's just the rust is the problem. He told me it's rust-free. The pictures look rust-free, and I mean, when rust-free, I mean, like, zero. I brought Dennis along because, basically, he's the foremost Shelby authority <laughs> in all of the land, right? I don't know about that, but I bought and sold a bunch of them. Guy lives in a multi-million dollar house. He's got his own private road. Dude, this is crazy. The guy just seemed like a regular car, dude. Let's go see what he's got. This could be interesting. You guys found the place OK, I guess. We did. It's incredible. It's Not uh, what we expected. Little, yeah, a little, little shack out here in Alpine. Dennis Collins. Dylan, it's Paul Garrett. My, Richard Ross. as we spoke on the phone. Yes, yes. So uh, I got a wow. few things I want to show you. Pretty rad, man. Thanks. What the heck? I'm Paul Garrett. I'm a car builder. I've been doing this pretty much all my life. Customizing cars, buying and selling, trading, restoring. This is something I do. It's a hobby. Right on. Make a couple bucks here and there. It's a passion. Well, we must be doing something wrong. This looks like a good time. My fifth buggy. This time I wanted the extreme of the extreme on this go around. How much is this? About 140. Wow. Well, let's talk about the uh, the much cheaper Shelby. Where's that? At? Well, that, stuff, that stuff's out here in the uh, the boneyard. Do we really have to go back to a hotel? Why don't we just stay with you? Yeah, we got room. We have room. We hang out, have parties, socialize. Wait a second, man. You didn't have these cars listed on the net. What is that? I'm not really ready to sell these yet. You know, maybe. Is that an original Boss? That's original Boss 302. Wow. So we get through the pool house, and there's a Boss 302 sitting there in red, which I've never even seen one. That's super rare. There's a Boss 351 Mustang 71 model. It's wicked. Ford offered the Mustang in a bunch of different configurations. So depending on the option packages on these here, we could be looking at some seriously valuable cars. Paul, is this a real black car? As far as I know, it is. It looks like it. You scrape the paint deep. I don't see any other colors underneath of it. There's no doubt about it. These are all rare Mustangs, and I'm trying to contain my excitement. I mean, I want them, but I don't even know if they're for sale yet. If they are, they could be pricey. So Tricky Riggies, got to play it cool on this one. All right, so that's cool. Well, we may, maybe we'll talk about these, but where's the Shelby? All right, this, I can't, I'm a Shelby This guy. is the one you want to look at. Yeah, there we go. There she is. Highland green tan interior. Woo, a little cool. sun-baked. Yeah, but that's what kept it all dry. No rust, no cancer. Look, that's a Hertz car. What? Yep, see the DSO? Yeah. Hertz rented them out. Yep. They had a Hertz rent a racer package. We get in the garage, and the Shelby is really, really nice. I mean, it's got one blowout of uh, tinted fender. I looked underneath. The torque boxes were great. The floorboards were great. I mean, it looked like a brand new car underneath. How long you had this car? Not very long. You know, I found them, and I decided to haul them home. Did you find all these cars in the same spot? One spot, ladies' backyard, been sitting there for years. Cool. On end. Can they all be for sale, or? Oh, are they all for sale right now? Well, I came here to obviously try to buy this one, but you didn't tell me you had those on the phone. I hadn't seen, and I'm walking by, you know, a couple of bosses we and can, a Mach 1. We can probably so. cut a deal for the whole package. Hmm. If I can have a few minutes, I, I need to look at the bins, and I need to make a phone call. See, that's why I brought you, Dennis. <laughs> Folks, it's go time. Paul's now willing to make this a Mustang Fiesta. The problem is, I don't even know if I have enough money for that stuff. It's missing some of the pieces, but I think this is a Super Cobra Jet, not a Cobra Jet. So I brought my buddy Dennis out here to Alpine, California to help me verify 68 Shelby. But now, I'm trying to include three more Mustangs into the deal. Dude, they're rougher than stucco bathtubs. Yeah, dude, but they're not rusty. We know they're rare, but neither of us really are sure exactly how much they're worth. Well, I guess it depends what he wants. Well, who can you, you can call Kevin Marty, can't you? He told us at Bear Jackson last time if you're in a super jam to call him. He normally needs 30 days, but he said he would do it. Well, I would say two bosses and a mop. I'm going to take, take a picture of all three of these vans and call him and see if he'll do it for us. All right. What you got, Holmes? All right, I know you think I exaggerate this stuff sometimes, but. Gosh, did we find holy grails? This one actually is. Why? Because it has no options. And it's a 430 gear car. That is incredible. And he said rare is, red is super rare. He didn't have time to go through all the deals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He also said that they only made 20 of those. And then that, what about this one? Not only is it a Cobra Jet, it's a Super Cobra Jet with a drag pack. What? Yeah. So these three cars in their own right, in my opinion, these are all better than what you're trying to buy. So what's a, like, steal it package figure? 
I think a hundred grand would be. Like stealing it? Yeah. Don't try to kill him too hard. He's gonna tell us to beat it. Yeah, he obviously doesn't need the money. Yeah. I want this car. You want to ride in this car. You will freak out. Right now, I just get a bunch of rough vinyl up. So where are we at on this car? I mean, what's your figure today? 35,000. <sighs> That's too much for just this car. Maybe I can average out. What do you want for all four? Because those are pretty cool, too. They're just rough. You know what's out there, right? Well, I think that I have a pretty good understanding, because my little boy Dennis here jumped on the phone and checked it all out. And um, we know it's there. So all four of them, all four of them. It's counting this one. Yes, sir. Hundred thousand. God, they just need everything, and then I got to transport them. Yeah. I was thinking more. I mean, I was thinking more like once I saw this car in person, more like twenty-ish, and you got you know ten, twelve thousand dollars a piece out there. I mean, what about like fifty grand? No, I'll I'll, I'll keep them. I'll sell you this for thirty-five, but you got to come up with a number. Uh, my number's at hundred. What's your number? Let's go up. Let's go up. Well, I only came to buy this car, so let me go see how much cash I even had to deal with. Did you bring any? Yeah. Let's dig, see what we got dig deep. Let's see what we got in the car. No, I didn't bring very much, dude. I brought like 20 something grand. So we had to walk away and figure out what we had before I even did a negotiation, because if I'm going to do a cash deal and try to get it down to a certain point, I got to make sure I got the right amount of money on me. I hope that's a big stack. Well, that's all we have. It's a pretty good size. Um. Are we getting close? I was at 50, and you <laughs> you didn't counter me. Where, 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 what do you think? I'm trying to stick to 80. That's, that's the lowest I can go. 80 grand for these four cars. Well, here's where I'm at. I got 65,000 bucks in cash. And that's honestly all we have. And we shouldn't have had that. I was supposed to be buying a Jeep with mine, but. <laughs> and this was supposed to be money for going out tonight. 60, 65. I mean, they're cool cars, but they, they're going to need everything. All right, let's do it. Killer, man. <laughs> All right. So the steal it price for these cars was 100 grand, and we got them for 65. That's insane. It is. Dennis, you're going to need to do the paperwork. Each one of these are 10, 10, 10, and whoa. You're going to let it blow away, man. So now we have four cars instead of one. Appreciate it, bro. Absolutely. Get them out of here tonight for that. Thanks, Paul. Load them all up, guys. Get them we should be able to flip them for a lot of money, but who knows? Until you get them to the shop and know exactly what you have, it's an unknown. But at 65 grand, I'll take that unknown all day long.